This self-release technique is for the temporalis muscle. So I'm showing you a skull. If we turn it to the side, this orange bone here is the temporal bone. This hole that you see, that's the ear canal. So the ear would sit right here. So on yourself, you cup your hands like so. And I say it's like you're using your hands as earmuffs over your ears. So on the skull, I would cup the ear like so. You put a little bit of pressure so that you're not just on the skin, but that you're contacting the muscle underneath. And then you simply do a lengthening of your fingers to put that tissue on stretch. And as you can see, the shape of this muscle is like a fan. So you wanna keep changing the angle of your hand so that you get all those different fibers. So the way that it looks doing it on yourself, you cup your hands like so, you put them around the ears, and then you're not gonna see it very well here, but you're simply going to lengthen the fingertips. You just need to hold it for a few seconds. You gently release and you keep changing the angle of the hand and you do that lengthening of the fingers at all the different angles. It's a fantastic way to release the tension in the jaw, the base of the skull, the throat, the neck. It helps in an indirect way to improve vagal tone because the vagus nerve exits from the brain at this junction here between what's the occiput, that purple bone, and the temporal, which is the orange bone. There's a hole underneath there where the, ex the vagus nerve exits. And when things are tight in that area, there can be a little bit of compression on that nerve. Releasing that compression can help with vagal tone. It's a, it can be helpful with decreasing anxiety. It can be helpful with decreasing pain. Um, it can be helpful with your digestive system because the vagus nerve is responsible for innervating the entire digestive system. So it's a nice, simple self-release technique. You can do it anywhere, anytime. You can be sitting, standing, lying down, it doesn't matter. And you can do it as many times a day as you like. There's no detriment to doing that one often. I hope it helps.